Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with The Last Guardian on the PlayStation 4. I'm not wearing any Christmas stuff today because, to be honest with you, I can't find my uh, PlayStation Christmas jumper. I think it might be in the washing. And uh, the Santa Claus jacket, it just it makes me itch so much. So I'm not going to be wearing that. But yeah, all of the Watch Dogs videos, I'm wearing the Santa Claus uniform, so you can look forward to them. <laughs> oh dear. Now, um, I've played this so much. I haven't recorded for about a week and a half because I've had so many videos finished. I've not needed to. But now I'm, I've run out of Last Guardian videos, so I've got to record today. And uh, over Christmas Day and Boxing Day and Christmas Eve, I was uh, playing the hell out of The Last Guardian trying to platinum it. And what's... Uh, it has been stressful as hell. The first playthrough I did of this game, I tried to play it without dying, you know. And thankfully, I succeeded, you know. I completed the game without dying. It, it pissed me off a little bit because I went through the stress of trying to complete the game without dying. And then I found out afterwards that if you're about to die and you restart to the checkpoint, it doesn't count as dying. So just as you're about to fall down a hole or something, you could press restart checkpoint and then you wouldn't actually die. So it would have made it a lot less stressful, but I didn't know that. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I did it the hard way. So I was I did that in my first playthrough. Then in my second, oh shit, that was close. In my second playthrough, I was doing the speed run, and I swear to God, I did not make the speed run. You have to complete the game in five hours, and I swear to you, Wolf Morfets, my end time was five hours fifteen minutes. I really felt like I messed up because some bits in this game, Trico just didn't listen to me, and it put me behind a little bit. And uh, Trico's ignoring me right now. We need Trico to jump up on this thing here so we can get up there. So we've got to wait for Trico for a minute. But yeah, uh, apparently I did finish it in less than five hours. So I managed to get that trophy. And then the final one was to pretty much get all of the barrels and all of the uh, Trico holes where Trico gets his head stuck. And also listen to all the hints. Now the Trico barrels, that weren't too bad, you know, because I'd... Uh, Already gathered 44 of them on my own, so I only had to find four more. And Trico holes, I already knew the ones I missed. But I tell you, if, if any of you guys go for the Platinum Trophy, the Hints Trophy has probably got to be one of the most tedious, annoying, and boring trophies I've ever done in my life. You pretty much have to stand around for 30 minutes at some points and wait for the narrator to give you a hint to a puzzle, you know? And you've got to be standing in certain locations or you don't get the hint. And if you miss any, you know, and, you, and it saves... And you haven't got a backup save or anything. You're going to have to do the whole game again just to find the hint you missed. And there's 94 of them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've completed The Last Guardian three fucking times now. So I've, I'm actually really looking forward to playing it on YouTube. Because it's just it's so much more relaxing, you know. I haven't got to worry about any collectibles. I haven't got to worry about dying. Although I would prefer not to die. And I haven't got to worry about any speed runs. So uh, yeah. I'm actually excited to play this on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry for talking for so long. Just, you know, you guys are my fellow gamers. There's not many people in the world I could speak to about game stuff, you know, because the majority of my family don't, e don't even play games. Or uh, my friends are pretty much casual gamers, and I'm not, I'm not a fan of casual gamers. So, uh, yeah. It's good to talk to you guys about it, because I've got some pretty decent gamers on this channel who understand the struggles of trophy hunting and stuff. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, what we're doing at the moment is we need to get through a gate. And to get through this gate, we need Trico to pull a chain for us so that the uh, the gate will be pulled up. And Trico won't continuously pull it unless you give him a way to do it. And that's going to be by hanging a uh, bottle of this delicious goo on the chain. I think this is the same stuff that we saw a couple of episodes back. You know when Trico wouldn't follow us because he kept trying to sniff that, uh, that like cauldron of goo and then we had to close the lid to make him follow us i think it's the same stuff but in a little pot it's that stuff there but what we're going to do is we're going to pick that up and we're going to carry it to the chain we're going to hang it on it and then hopefully trico will grab hold of it and start trying to eat it and then pull the chain lots and then we can get through the uh, gate and then once we get through the gate we're going to have to find a way of blocking it so trico can get through as well but I'll finish this game though, Wolf of so I'll tell you. Even though it can get tedious at times, because Trico could be a right pain in the arse. Sometimes he just doesn't like to listen to you. And the camera angles in this game could be a pain in the arse at times. But it's worth getting through it. it. The ending is brilliant, you know. It's got a lovely ending, you know. And who doesn't love Trico? I mean, if you don't love Trico, I've got to question your... Uh, question your... Um, what's the word? 
I don't fucking even know the word now. I've had too much turkey and tea, Wolf and Morphets. My brain ain't working too well. Too much The Last Guardian. Too much tea. Too much uh, turkey, and that's probably about it. I'm not really a chocolate man, to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of chocolate in the house at the moment, but... Yeah, I'm not a fan of chocolate. It's alright. I think Galaxy's probably where I would uh, have to place my favouriteness. Or maybe uh, Lint. Lint. L-Y-N-D-T. I'm not sure why there's a D in it, but never mind. Okay. So we're going to bring this through here, and you see that chain there? We're going to hang it onto that. Trico, I recommend you get out of the way, my friend, because this is going to smack you right in the face. I'll try and dodge you, but it's going to hit you. Oh. Did, I, did it hit him? I think it hit him, but he didn't care. <laughs> oh, Trico, come here. Oh, I missed you, my friend. I absolutely missed you. One of my favourite game characters is Trico, you know, he's just, oh, he's brilliant, isn't he? Adorable. <sighs> right, so what we're going to do, we need to get through this door right here. So we're going to hang this on this chain, and then Trico should pull the chain. Sometimes he doesn't like to do it, sometimes he just likes to sniff it, or just be a complete arsehole and not pull it at all. So we're going to have to hope he listens today. There we go. Right, so once you've done that, make sure you come over here. you got to wait for him to really tug it, though, because he will get it in his mouth, but he doesn't always pull it. Right, let's get near the gate. <laughs> as soon as he does it, just press square to dive through. I really do want to know what's in that stuff. Actually, I think I might know what's in it. I can't tell you guys, because it'll be a spoiler, but I think I know what's in them. Oh, no, quick! Oh! Oh, oh, oh shit, no. <laughs> Fucking nearly got flattened. Okay, Trico's having a good time. Oh, there's a barrel in here. I'm going to get this barrel out quickly. I'm not, I, I could probably show you guys where all of the barrels are now, but I'm going to show you as many as I can, but some of them do take a long time to get, so I won't bother with those ones because I don't want to waste a lot of time gathering barrels, you know. This is just a game playthrough, you know. It's not a guide or anything. Right, I'm going to leave that there for Trico. Now what we're going to do is we need to use this to block the gate so that Trico can follow us. Actually, I think I like... The next bit's pretty good, actually. Trico does probably the most cutest face ever. Hopefully we've got enough time to get there. Yeah, we should have enough time. But Trico does the most adorable face in the world. I mean, ah. Oh. <laughs> if your heart doesn't melt, then you're, you're definitely a, a cruel person. You're probably even Satan. Possibly Hitler as well. Now we're going to push this like coil or spoil. Spoil, whatever you want to call it. What is it actually? It's like a set of wheels, ain't it? Something. Right. What'd you do that for, Trico? What did he just stop pulling it for? What'd you do that for, Trico? <laughs> what did he... No, don't headbutt it. No, come on, don't headbutt it. He's going bloody... No, that's it. Pull the damn thing. I love, how, I love how he just stops pulling it the second we get here. He's been pulling it the whole time we was pushing this. The second we get over here, and he decides to stop. Maybe that's why The Last Guardian took so long. They had to hire a few trolls to make uh, Trico's AI. Because you have to be so annoying to be able to make Trico so annoying. He's not annoying, but fuck. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he is in the way. He's adorable, though, so you can forgive him. Oh, Trico, please, come on. Is he doing it? I'm just staring at it. It's got to be the same stuff that's in the barrels, because if you look at Trico's eyes, they're glowing white. So what's ever in the barrels is probably in that... That pot as well. Right, let's get ready. Right, that's it, that's it. Come on, keep pulling, Trico. Go on, pull it, you beast. No, no! Oh, shit, I've accidentally called him! Oh, for fuck... Oh, for fuck's sake! No, don't headbutt it. Come on, Trico, just pick up the pot. That was very good, that was, wasn't it? Now you're whimpering. You've hurt your little face, didn't you? Well, I told you not to, didn't I, Trico? But you didn't listen to me. 
You know, we could have been halfway through the game by now if you'd actually listened to me. Okay, right, let's get ready. I'm going to keep my finger completely away from R1. Once he pulls it up high enough, you just ram it under there and he should be able to follow you. Right, pull it again. Come on, one more. That's it. A little bit more. Come on, you giant. This should be easy for you to pull. Uh, are you serious, Trey? This is why I got so angry with Trico when I was doing my speed run. Shit like this is why I assumed I hadn't passed the uh, speed run and I'd failed it. Go pull the fucking rope. Oh, I'm getting a bit pissed off now. Getting a little bit pit. And you're still trying to headbutt it. What are you doing, Trico? Go and get the goo. The goo. The goo. God. I think Trico needs to remember that at certain points in this game, people throw spears at him, don't they? And it's up to me to remove them. So if you keep ignoring me, Trico, and one of them goes right up your ass, I'm going to leave it there, mate. I'm going to leave it there. Might even pour some salt on it. Right, push, push, push. That's it, push. Did we do it? I think we. I think that's it. I think that might be... Yep. How oh, the fuck? Get under there. That better be enough. Is it even? It's not even under there properly, is it? It's just sort of slightly holding it. Trigger. Right, Trigger should be able to get under there. I'm kind of worried that it might just drop when he goes underneath it. That'll be quite fun. No, don't, don't. What's he doing? If he knocks that down, I'm going to turn the game off and delete the save and never play it ever again. <laughs> Getting really pissed off at the moment. You know, Trico, it's still Christmas time, you know? There's still stuff going on in my house, and you want to ignore me. You know, I've not got much time to record, my little friend, and... <gasps> oh, there we go. See, Trico? It wasn't that bad, was it? It was pretty damn easy, wasn't it? Eat the barrel. Not that you deserve it. Go on, eat the barrel. I think some people in the comments section for the last video when you also ignored me and wouldn't kill those shadow armors or whatever they are some people were saying that you hadn't had a barrel oh okay just snatch it out of my hands then all right yeah fantastic after you ignore me for 20 minutes you start snatching stuff out of my hand you're a bad pet today you're a really bad pet trico this is the last time i'm ever going to call you cute you're a bad dog You're actually going to jump up there, or am I going to have to jump myself before you even do anything? I'm just going to jump myself, because we know Trico ain't going to listen. Oh, okay. Apparently, I didn't make it. What's he doing? Is he limping? No, he's not limping. He's just... I don't know. He's just being weird. <laughs> Come on, Trico. Now, for what I've gathered through playing this a million times... If you have R1 and Triangle, that seems to make Trico jump or, like, give you a boost. If you uh, use R1 and Cross, then it, I think it tells Trico to sit or stay or stop doing the stupid stuff he's currently doing. And I think R1 and Square might be telling Trico to hit something. You're scared, are you, boy? you <laughs> Now, what you just got then was basically a hint, you know? And stuff like that are the hints in the game. And if they all came up as simply as that one, you know, it wouldn't be a problem. But the hints, I tell you. One hint, I mean, in the first section of the game, there is about... 27 or something hints just in the first section when you're first like meeting Trico taking all the spears out of him and stuff you know it's just a right pain in the ass because the hints only appear when you're pretty much stuck you know because that's the point of the hint to like tell you what to do and I don't know how anybody could be stuck
stuck in some of the sections that you are supposedly got to be stuck to get these hints, you know. Some of the places you have to stand around to get a hint are just stupid, you know. Nobody would be stuck in them places. Nobody. Even the most casual gamer in the world would not be stuck in some of the places that they give you hints in this game. But never mind, you know, I've got the platinum now, so I won't have to do those bloody hints ever again. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I've not enjoyed about this game. Even Trico not listening, I find that enjoyable when I'm not recording on YouTube, because it's just funny. It makes him seem like a real pet, you know. Now, you guys, if you watched the uh, E3 2015 demo when they re-revealed re The Last Guardian, you'll remember this bit right here. That's what we're about to do. But I think they've changed it a little bit from the demo, because I'm not sure if this thing was here in the demo, but never mind. Look how adorable he is. I mean, he's so scared, but he looks so cute as well, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, don't, oh, don't worry, Trico. I'll get rid of it. Don't worry, Trico, my friend. I know exactly what to do. I also managed to finally kill the boy, because he can survive great heights, as you guys have probably seen. But uh, I did a jump when I was playing this on my speed run. I did a very big jump because I was in a rush, obviously. And uh, yeah, I did manage to kill the boy. So there is a limit for how high you can fall from. But it's a very big height that he can survive also. Stand here, though. I'm going to end up falling. There you go, Trico. Oh, look, he's doing a little curious face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trico. You piss me off so much, but you are also so cute. Another thing, though. The next three videos of this are probably going to be about 25 minutes to 30 minutes long. But after that, I think I'm going to start making this play through a bit longer. Probably doing it for about an hour long. So, uh, yeah, you guys can look forward to that. Because this playthrough is not getting many views. They're si similar to Mafia, you know. So I just want to get it done, you know. And also the people that, that enjoy it, they get to watch it for an hour. So it, it wins both ways, you know. I haven't got to play it for too many days. I haven't got to waste uh, too much of my time uploading it. And you guys get longer videos. So it wins for everyone. Now watch Trico's face. Because we need to wait for Trico. Trico's going to catch us. But he does the most adorable face ever when he wants you to jump to him. Just look at this face. Ready? Oh, he's going he's gonna to come over here now. Watch his face. With his eyes. Okay, now look. Look, look at him. With his ears down, his little flappy wings and his little cute noises he's making. Oh, he really wants to catch me. <laughs> oh, you don't worry. Don't worry, I'm coming. Oh, fucking hell. Sometimes he doesn't catch you, though. That's the problem. <laughs> Alright, Trico. Please catch me in one. Please, because you've been messing up a lot today. It looks like you're crying as well. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry for being mad with you, you cute little baby. Right. Catch me. Catch me, Trico. Come on. Catch me. Good boy! Well done! I don't like that he's got a constant blood stain on his shoulder, because I removed the spears from him pretty quick in this playthrough, you know? We need to wash him, that's what we need to do. We need to give Trico a bath. What's he looking at? Oh yeah, you see that massive tower there? That big white tower? That is where we are heading. The, the, the main objective of this game is to get to that tower there. But, as you're going to see throughout this journey, it's never that simple. It's never that bloody simple. This game has probably got to be the biggest troll in that way, you know? Because every time you think you've finally bloody made it... No, you haven't. <laughs> you never ever bloody make it. Well, we're going to have to get rid of this, otherwise Trico's not going to want to come. Oh yeah, I was doing that tuna reminded me. I actually saw on, uh, where was it? Might have been on Twitter actually. That uh, Princess Leia from Star Wars had died. I know she had a heart attack a few weeks ago or, or last week or something on a plane. But yeah, apparently she's died now, so that's not good. That's a shame considering you've got to do, they've got the rest of the Star Wars movies coming out soon. Quick, catch me Trico. Oh, that's it, I'm dead.
Oh no, we're not gonna. Oh, that was close. Now, during this uh, somewhat cutscene looking bit, you can actually control the boy. So, I recommend during this bit you try and climb as high up his body as you can. Because it's going to make the next bit a bit easier. Because you need to do this bit pretty quick. Because if you take too long, then you and Trico will die. God, the music's picked up, innit? Oh, it's getting proper epic now. Right, what we're going to have to do is we need to get... You see that, that uh, vase in the way? We need to get this vase out of the way so Trico can use the log for leverage. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, now make sure you jump on the Trico and hold on to him. Oh! 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 Oh, that was, that was close. Then he jumped clean over him. That's it. That's it. We've done it right, and we yeah, we've done it right. There we go. I think this is where the uh, the E three trailer ended, ain't it? Oh, you are adorable. Come here, you're gonna get a nice big stroke. Actually, you know what, Trico, come over here. I've got to end the video in one minute. I've wasted a lot of time thanks to you. You know, not listening to me, but come here a minute. Come here, come here, Trico. Come here, come here. I'm going to stroke your fluffy, cute face. I'm going to stroke it so much. Come here, you. Come on. Come down here. Bring your face to me. Come on, that's it. Bring your face to me. Come on, bit closer. Bit closer, boy. There we go. I'm sorry, Trico. I don't mean to be angry with you, you know, but I'm playing this on YouTube, and the attention span of most people on YouTube is about two seconds, you know, so if you're, if you're messing around for, like, five minutes, my friend, then people are going to stop watching, you know? And even though I don't care you mess up, I do want people to watch the video, you know. I oh, know, I'm sorry. I don't want to get mad with you. you. You are adorable, you know. You can blame the people on YouTube. Luckily, most of my fans are normal. <laughs> but some of them are not, probably. Because when I go on my stats, my watch time is normally about five minutes. So 20 minutes of this video gets unwatched. So clearly, Trico, we need to be more cute to get people to stay. So keep doing cute things, okay? But yeah, I'm just talking to Trico like he's a human at the moment. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Morphets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry about that bit a minute ago, because just... For some reason, Trico didn't want to listen. He's trying to be cute to me now to make me feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, said, I said it's okay. I forgive you, Trico. Oh, you fucking cute, adorable bird. Come here. I'm never going to end this video, am I? But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Morphets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!